Hello YouTube, this is Jebecker. I wanted to show you guys uh, an instructional video on how to swarm as a Shadow Knight inside the Mechamatic Guardian. Um, kind of different from a lot of the other videos that may already be on YouTube. Uh, you may have seen some videos before. I think that a lot of the videos out only show you how to swarm floor 4. I wanted to show you guys how to swarm uh, floors 4, 3, and 2, keeping something specific in mind. Um, and that is that I'm going to show you where to park your alt or your power leveling client on floor 4 in such a way that even while you're down on floors 2 and 3, they will continue to receive experience. So that way you're not only just getting one floor's worth of experience, but now you're getting three. And whoever you're power leveling does not have to move. So keeping that in mind, let's go ahead and get started. Now I told you all before that there's somewhere you can park your alt or your power leveling client and they'll continue to receive experience on floors 2 and 3. Oh, that spot's right here, exactly where I'm buffing. Or, if, if you don't even want to scoot forward a little bit, just have them teleport up to floor 4, either using the uh, the transporter or with a campfire. And that's really it, just park them right there. As always with a Shadow Knight, the first thing you want to do is get a Mortal Coil proc. That way you're going to stay healed while you're, you know, swarming a billion mobs. The, the epic... The 2.0 is a good thing to use. I don't like to start with it, though. I like to only use my 2.0 as a backup. Say, you know, if Mortal Coil's got 30 seconds left on it, and I'm not getting any Mortal Coil procs off my kills, then I'll just pop the epic, and that way I can stay alive. But on every floor, if I don't already have the buff, I, and it doesn't have a minute left on it, uh, at least, then I like to just go ahead and kill something, grab a new, refreshed version of Mortal Coil, and then get started with that. If there's a lot of Steam Wardens or Steam Sentinels in the room, uh, any room, you'll, you'll notice the problem that I'm having right here, and that's that I'm getting knocked around a lot, uh, to the point that I can't run up the ramp. If that happens, you can either cast Harm Shield like you see me trying to do a lot, uh, and if that doesn't work, like it didn't work for me, then it's good to just stop for a second, repost a little bit, get your health back up to 100, and then continue running. Once you finally get everything pulled and you back yourself into a corner, it's always good to do the Steam Sentinels and the Steam Wardens first. That way they get out of your hair and they stop knocking you straight up. Because when they knock you up, there's a possibility that all the mobs can run under you, and then they might not be registered as being in front of you, and so you'll stop reposting and you might actually die. That's floor four. Alright, for floor 3, there's really not going to be anything different what you're doing. You're going to be pulling them right here. You can see where the corpses died. That's where I got Mortal Coil. But that's where you're going to be pulling all of the rooms. Um, I like to split floor 3 into two different pools, uh, just because, you know, I don't want to have a Mortal Coil proc and then take a minute and a half running back and forth and pulling everything. So what I typically do is I run through the hallways here, run past the first named and into the first big room, and that's my first pull. Uh, this video won't show the second pull, but really for the second pull, all you do is just run all the way to the end of floor 3 and run all the way back and take them right back there into the entryway. And that's pretty much where you're going to sit around and swarm floor 3. And doing this with your uh, alt parked at the very beginning of floor 4, uh, they will continue to receive experience so long as you pull them back to the hallway. Now floor 2 is going to be very similar to floor 3 in that we're going to be splitting it into two pools. What you're going to be doing is you're going to teleport down to floor 2, run all the way through that first big room, all the way through the hallway, and then all the way through that second big room, making sure you're picking up everything on your way there. And there's a hallway at the northeast side of the second big room. You're going to bust up through that hallway and then you're going to stop in a corner where you'll see in this video and that's where you're going to pull the first half and that's also where you're going to be pulling the second half. Now I used Visage of Death here just to really speed up the first pull that way I could get you guys to see the second one as well and really all you do for the second pull is you run down both sides of this crescent shaped like railway and then you're going to run through the final big room that's attached to this railway and then run back into that hallway that we pulled that first pack and that's where you're going to do it. And again, killing mobs here in this hallway will give experience to anybody who's still on floor 4. So the whole benefit of this 
location, the whole benefit of all these locations in on this video is just to show you that you can park your alts and actually set them AFK and you can just do all of the work on your Shadow Knight. And the benefit is by the time you clear floor 2, floor 4 will have respawned already. So you can just pop right back up to floor 4 and then go back down to 3 and 2 and repeat and repeat. If you end up getting too quick and you're killing them so quickly that you're actually not getting respawns, then the best bet then is simply to loot some of the mobs around there, which is actually a really good source of money. Uh, a lot of the trade skill items that drop here are great vendor trash. Uh, frankly, I think the spells and the tomes are vendor trash as well, since I have such a hard time selling them on the bazaar. Uh, but yeah, if you do a bunch of clears, I mean, you're looking at possibly... Uh, 5,000 platinum or more uh, every three clears, depending on the drops. So it's pretty good. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you weren't bored too badly. Uh, if you have any questions, you can see my character name. I'm on the Furiona V server, so feel free to shoot me a message or just uh, drop a message right here on the video and I'll reply. Thanks for watching.